I'm Eric Reed, and we'd like to play a ballad, a very popular ballad called Body and Soul. And in the 1930s, this was considered a contemporary or modern pop standard. We're going to play Body and Soul, and we're going to play it in the style of the ballad. Now, there's also the dance ballad if you play it like this. People used to dance to music that sounded and felt like that in the 1930s and 40s. But we're going to play it in uh, a modernized style in 2013, and we're going to see where it goes. We're going to just kind of just really feel the music, get kind of introspective. I'm going to be following Seamus, uh, accompanying him as best I can to stay out of his way. And we're also going to mix the format up so that we can show diversity in the way we play forms, in the way we play songs. It doesn't really take long to get to your creative place. The important thing is to always be listening, checking out what Seamus is playing. And if he plays an idea, I don't have to always play. Sometimes I can just leave space. Or I can add to what he's playing. I can echo what he's playing or simply support it. And then there's a different way of playing behind the bass player. I've got to be even more sensitive because this is a quieter instrument. He's got no microphone, no amplification, so I really have to listen and I have to play a little bit softer. But playing softer doesn't mean I decrease the intensity. And this is always the problem that I run into with younger musicians, um, even some older ones. The idea of playing softer, all of a sudden, they become, they start tiptoeing. And there's no reason for that to be. If you can play your instrument, you can play your instrument loud or soft, fast or slow. So playing behind uh, Seamus, I was creating different colors, kind of giving him some space. And then when I played the bridge, I didn't play the bridge exactly as written. I sort of improvised around it. 
and we also split the chorus up. It's a long chorus, I believe it's 32 bars, A-A-B-A. And with a ballad being that long and that spacious, you got to keep the audience's attention. Don't want them falling asleep. And we don't want the musicians falling asleep either. Seamus played the first two A's of the melody on saxophone, and then I played the bridge, and then Matt played the last A. <laughs> 